right, so what we're going to be checking for right now is the STNR, which is the symmetric tonic neck reflex, which if you are familiar with the ATNR, we're going to put Josh in the same exact position that we would checking for the ATNR as we are the STNR. So I'm going to have him go on his hands and knees. And then just like the ATNR, we're going to make sure that his low back is sinking down and not arching up like that. So we want to make sure, I always say, push your belly button to the floor and push it down like that. And then once again, make sure that his hands are straight forward and they're not turned out so he's locking out his elbow joints. So you want them straight forward. And then the first thing that you're going to do is I just have them look all the way up. So you're going to look all the way up and then that's normal. So we're going to go over what's normal right now. And then you look down and then there should be no bending of the elbows. So you go up and down, up and down. You can go three or four times. There should be no movement of his elbows. But if it's present and it's abnormal, what's going to happen is he's going to look up and that's going to look the same, but then when he goes down, his elbows are going to start to drop out. And then you're going to go up, they straighten, and then down, and then if you just keep going down, keep going down, sometimes they rest their head completely on the table because that's how present the reflex is. And then another way you can test for it, or another thing that is very common because that have an STNR, is you can sit Josh right here. And if you have your child sit up as straight as they can, what you can do is you can lift a leg up like this, and then they begin to slouch out like that. And then you put it back and say, okay, sit up as straight as you can, keep sitting up straight like this, and then they slouch out like that. And that, once again, is because of the muscular tone you build with the STNR. So that's how you check to see if your child has that STNR present or not. Yeah, and one thing to add to that is, because you'll see it in a lot of kids, is when they go in this position and they're they're literally like this and they're round their low back is super rounded and you can't get them to drop their low back down that's also a positive if they can't even drop their low back enough to even test it that means it's there um, so that's one thing they have to notice as well is go back on hands and knees one more thing I I remember too is sometimes their knees come so far forward that they're like that so you want to make sure that it's about a 90 90 right here so push their knees back just a little bit so that they have that 90 degree angle and then they'll be in the proper position to be able to test for that yeah yeah to get a true positive you just need to make sure they're in the right position